Morning, Alex. So on Tuesday, I was talking about B teams, and I have a few more ideas that I think would make really great TV shows. Now, everybody loves Batman. I love Batman. You love Batman. The world loves Batman. And Gotham's coming out, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing that, even though it's on Fox, which makes me very nervous. But there's one character in Batman who deserves his own TV show. Alfred. Alfred deserves his own TV show because he's got like this suave kind of James Bondy vibe going on, but at the same time he's got like the mild-manneredness of Downton Abbey. He plays kind of like the mild-mannered butler by day, and by night he uses his acting ability and his former like secret intelligence agency abilities to sort of infiltrate crime syndicates in order to bring them down from the inside. We know he has the ability to suture wounds and everything, so if he gets his butt kicked, he can just sort of fix himself before Batman even knows what's going on. Plus, he repairs all of Batman's equipment, so we know he has the technical know-how to build his own spy gear and keep it secret from Batman. I mean, it's not like Batman's the one who knows every nook and cranny of the house. It's Alfred. So Alfred would be sneaking around behind Batman's back and fighting crime without Batman even knowing what's going on. My next piece is entitled, The Cleaners. So the cleaners are kind of the team that comes in after the superhero has saved the day. So the superhero flies in with all of his superpowers and his fancy capes and fancy leotards and whatnot, fights the bad guy, and just wrecks the whole city with collateral damage. Now I didn't see Iron Man fixing buildings and pulling people out of rubble. No, I saw Iron Man go and get some shawarma after the day was saved and leave all those people buried under all the buildings that he blew up. So who do you call? You call the cleaners. The cleaners come in and they're the ones who actually like save the people who are still suffering after the superheroes have left and gotten lunch. So the general kind of feel of the show would be a mix of like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. meets Rescue Me. So you've got the kind of sci-fi thing going on where, you know, they're gonna find miscellaneous alien artifacts or super villainous things laying around in the rubble, and they have the ability to handle it. Because that's what they do. But then on the other hand, you've got the drama of, like, Rescue Me, where, I mean, they're seeing all this decay and damage, and they have to deal with that. This may be my favorite idea. I call this one The Yard. Sherlock is dead. He fought Moriarty and they mutually killed each other or whatever happens, Sherlock is gone. What is Scotland Yard going to do? There's still villains out there who need to be stopped and the regular people at Scotland Yard just aren't going to cut it. So you're going to have like the, the wise aged Dr. Watson dealing with the loss of his friend but knowing the mission must keep going will put together this team of heroes, and each of them will not be Sherlock in their own right, but will be like a part of Sherlock. So you'll have like the steampunky gadget guy, and then you have like the strong pugilist boxing guy, and you know, you'll have like this team of, you know, six to eight people, each with their own special abilities that together make Sherlock home. And so you have like the drama of people working on a team and then like the fun of a procedural cop show where they try and fight crime because you know that when Sherlock dies, crime rates in London are going to skyrocket and somebody is going to have to deal with that and based on Scotland Yard's track record, uh, they're going to need some specialists. So those are my three B-team ideas. Alex, I look forward to seeing what you come up with tomorrow. If anybody watching from home has any ideas for B-teams, leave a comment below, send us a tweet on Twitter, or if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, keep in touch, let us know what's going on. We'd love to hear any projects that you're working on or any ideas that you have for things we could talk about. I'd love to hear it. Anyways, Alex, I'll see you tomorrow.